Hey, I hope you're having a great Monday so far. I hope you had a great weekend. I just got off the phone or a Zoom call, so to speak, with a client who is developing a course that's going to be launched uh, coming up in a month or so. So we were talking about content strategy and how do you develop uh, the content for the pre-launch and the launch of the program and made me inspired to want to create this video uh, for you. So if you are in a business where you create content and you then go ahead and sell it into a course or a retreat or anything like that, whether you're financial services or a, another professional, maybe you're a yoga instructor and you want to do this, this is going to help you. So stick around and watch this right here. Now, what I want you to do is think about, you know what, this, this high ticket price, um, high ticket priced item. So let's just say it is a, a six month course. Okay, we'll use that as the example. What we tend to do is we then say, okay, now we need to start to create some social content. So we're gonna create some Facebook posts and things like that. Uh, and then we're gonna try to opt them into a free resource. So then it's like, okay, what can we think about for that? So we, you know, we develop a guide or whatever the case is and we get them there. And then we immediately get them into our, our email system and we start to then promote the course. And that is a big leap. That is a big jump and a big commitment to make. So this is what I suggest you do is you work backwards. So think of it as an inverted pyramid. So at the very top, you've got your, your big product, okay, the six month course. Now, within that six month course, are there two or three content topics that you could create a pre-recorded webinar or video series on where you can sub train that ideal client that would be great for that course. And what I mean by sub train is, you start to hold smaller training bits in webinar, video series, drip series, whatever it is uh, on that topic. So we take about 20% of that topic base from that one third or one half of the course and we create a mini course or a mini piece of content. And obviously we can sell that at a lower point price of, of entry. So now we've got that, we've got the big piece at the top, then we've got these two or three mini courses, webinars, whatever, what, whatever you think it could be. Now from the webinars, what are two or three or maybe even just one piece uh, or pieces of content that we could give away for free, right? And this could be um, an ebook, a guide, uh, a free video series, maybe three videos in there that are going to talk on that topic in about 20% of that format or in, in that content base. Obviously, we don't want to give away that whole webinar. And then from there, from the free resource, what are some bits and pieces from all three of the up levels above that we could take either slides or quick little two or three minute bits or pieces or write a blog post on that then become our initial content to then start to promote. Now this is what happens when you flip it back around you end up with a blueprint for promoting the course in a logical step moving forward. You always want people who see your content or consume your content to be like wow that was great what's next and then how do I give them the next step. So now they see your social post on this free resource or a video or a blog or whatever it is, right? They consume that content. What's next? Okay, here's a free guide. They go download it. What's next? Okay, great. We've got this free pre-recorded webinar or this mini course. You can get it for $7, whatever it is. That's the key point here is we want to start to condition our prospects into doing the ideal thing we want them to do to buy our end product. So if we're in the business of teaching and educating, we want to constantly be teaching and educating in a gradual form. So a free resource is getting them to consume content, right? Getting them into a free, or not a free course, but a, a, a light course gets them into the idea of going into a course, but also then gets them into the mentality of buying for that content. But we don't want to make it so expensive that that's the, the inhibiting part of them getting into it. So usually like a seven or $17 um, on that. Really all you wanna do is cover any of the costs you are going to incur when promoting it through paid traffic, right? If it's break even, you're doing great. So we get them into that course. Now, once they go through that course, obviously it has to be some really good content. You need to teach them something of value and they need to get a win out of that. But at the end you say, you know what? You wanna go a step further, right? You've made it this far. You've committed yourself to this process of doing whatever it is that you do and what's the next step? Well, the next logical step is let's go into our full six month course. This is what it is. And I know what you're thinking, yada, yada, yada. So under your pricing structure, if you get people that come in from that pre-existing mini course, you can discount the retail price of your big course 
because they have shown that they are committed to making change in their life, right? So reward them for being in that. Also, give it a time restriction. This is only going to be available to you if you take action within the next seven days, whatever the course is, whatever that, that time frame would be. And when you have that, you have all those pieces in place, you can really hit go and start to run with it. And once you develop that out, if you create a new course, you can really have this framework work for every other piece of content that you develop. So think about that, invert your course, right? So um, try, I was trying to draw this beforehand for you, right? Hold on, just give me a second here. All right, so we tend to think of it like this, right? We have our content here and then we start to work down the big box at the bottom is our, uh, our big course. But now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna start with the big course at the top and then we're gonna to start to narrow it down into more of the smaller bits of content. So, if you find that of value, like, comment, subscribe. If you've seen this on YouTube, comment below. I will respond to your comments. If you see it on Facebook, whatever, uh, wherever you're seeing this content, please, I wanna hear from you. Ask me questions, I'm here to help, and if you wanna get some help in developing your course content, your marketing plan, again, that's what I do. I'd love to help you out. So, have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.